So, good morning. It's going to be a good day. Right, the moment you've all been waiting for. This is John, the, the best salesman at Jack Lilly, and he's going to walk me through it so I don't forget to pull the clutch in to change modes like last time. <laughs> right then, um, so to start off with, um, hit the top of the kill switch um, and that should activate it. You'll notice the dashboard coming on. Very nice. Itself is adjustable if you've got any clarity, oh, right. so you can move that up and down, which is a handy little feature. Um, on this side of the switch gear, you've got your riding mode button on here. Yep. Um, which then lets you scroll through all the riding modes on your visible tray down the bottom here which you've got road mode, race mode, your own riders mode that can be set up exactly how you want it rain mode and then a normal kind of straight road mode yep. um, which makes the traction control a bit less intuitive Yeah, yeah. Um, same with the ABS um, this has also got cruise control on it should you want to use it oh man <laughs> so you tap the bottom button there, it sets it and then up and down to adjust it um, our model has got the flip shift on it, so again, up and down, clutch this gear changes. Yes! Um, which is a nice little feature as well. Um, with this, if you do lock it up anywhere, turn steering to one side, steering locks on the top button there. Ah, oh, right, I was wondering where that was earlier. You should just hear a little buzz, and that's the steering lock on. Ah! Start it, hit the start button, and it will deactivate, and the bike starts up and fire up. Nice! Also, on this key fob, you'll notice there's three, well, three or so red, uh, green lights on there. Yep. Um, if you hold the fob down, it changes to red, which then means the key is deactivated um, and the bike cannot, the key signal cannot be boosted to the bike, so the bike can't be stolen, which is what's happening with a lot of cars nowadays. Yeah, yeah, nice. So that's quite a handy feature. The fuel tank is still with a blade of key on there. Yep. Um, just put that in the pocket. And yeah. You'll be away. And if the, let's say that ever died. How would I start it up with a key? So this has got a very low frequency signal in it. The signal is just under here, which you can place the key underneath the bottom of the bike. Yeah. Then you'll be able to start it. Oh, okay. So there's actually no barrel to start the bike anymore. Nothing at all. That's sweet. Yep. Um, other features on the top here. Um, so you've got your your range there, which is about 64 miles. Yeah. Just over a quarter of a tank of fuel. Um, and you've got trip mileage on there, coolant level, um, then you can change the style of the clocks if you want to as well. Um, so it's got a lot of different features on there. Um, yeah, feel free to have a little bit of a play with it. So Man, it's gone all out with this, haven't they? Yeah. It's a nice key as well. Yeah, it's a nice one, isn't it? <laughs> Might not give that back. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright. Um, yeah, obviously all the, all the leaves are suffering from the fiddle around those. These are illuminated now, aren't they? Yeah, all the switch gears are illuminated back there as well. <laughs> Man, it's like the Rolls Royce of bikes. It is a little bit, it is a little bit. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, will do, will do. Nice one. Thank you very much. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> is, it, is it this one you've bought? No. Oh, damn it. <laughs> the burnout on the spot. Ah, uh, quiet as always. Alright, let's change some modes. I don't know what that is. Is that track? Yeah, that's track. I oh, admit, I am a little bit excited. This feels revvier instantly. Like freer, freer revving. Oh, blipper down. Blipper down is amazing. Ah, oh, tell you what, this is so comfortable. I've forgotten how comfortable this is. <laughs> I might fuck the clip-ons off. <laughs> right, so this is a 2018 Speed Triple RS. And my... I, I'm quite excited to have a go on this because I've always felt like Triumph needed to upgrade the engine. Um, just a little, and it's something they've done on this. So she's got an extra 10 PS on mine and I would like to basically figure out today uh, whether this is quicker than my one because mine's lost 10 kilos from standard and it's had you know like a low boy and a mat put on it so I'd like to think this actually you know it's like a very level kind of 
<laughs> playing field but the only way I can really do that is by side by side in the uh, footage to see if you know to see what one pulls better I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be this I was hoping it weren't going to be as good <laughs> Very nice finish as always. The the screen's very good. I do like it, although for a vlogger it makes it very hard to uh, I just speed. So I'm not um, I'm not too worried about the handling aspects of this because it's it's just going to be the same as my bike. Mine's got clip-ons, but essentially the performance if I put the bars back on is going to be pretty much the same. Although the wheels are meant to be a, of less inertia on this one. So maybe that'll make a bit of a difference. It does feel slightly, it feels more street-esque than it does. Uh... <laughs> it's already got the thumbs up. Oh, see, I like, I, the flipper is a very, very cool feature, but I still prefer the, I feel like I've really achieved something when I match a perfect downshift. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'd get used to it, I'm sure. It is good though. I do like it. I'm enjoying the blipper a little bit, I must admit. <laughs> They've definitely sorted the gearbox out. I know that. So first to second now feels so much nicer. Whereas before it felt, it, well, it, on mine it feels really, really clunky. But it's, it's something you just kind of learn to love about a, an older speed. Just a bit, bit rough around the edges. But um, yeah, this is so much more refined. Like, oh, serious. This is so nice. So smooth. But we're going we're gonna to get the old uh, tyres warmed up, I think. And see how she feels on the old corners. Because this definitely feels different. I think there might be something to do with these wheels not being exactly a massive they're not forged or nothing but at the same time like the weight saving or like the way they've designed them they're meant to have less inertia which is i can really feel like on the tipping so we'll, uh, we'll see we'll see what happens oh she's feeling a reek real though jeez there's a fucking indicator switch not there Fuck. oh it's up a little click now oh, okay so you don't have to manhandle the indicator switch as much so as you can see it's very like a little very slight click very nice one thing i haven't understood is why don't they do like the automatic five click like the cars I don't understand that. That helps so much for lane changes and not leaving your indicator on. Just a thought, Triumph, just a thought. Especially since you've gone all out in making this a very, very kind of um, modernized bike. Like, I, I feel this is gonna change the way that bike manufacturers actually refine their bikes. So like with the key, the, the key to start thing, and you know, just like the illuminated switch. Oh, oh cruise control, cruise control, I forgot about that. Let's try it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I need cruise control. Look. This is amazing. I can't believe it. I know other bikes have had this for years, but Jesus. I really do need to get cruise control. Madness. Especially on my motorway journeys. That'd be so much nicer. Thing feels lovely. It's probably helped by the super courses. That auto blipper is so smooth, so smooth. 
mate, you can really feel the difference in the engine. I think this is quicker. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't be, because now I lust for one. What an improvement though. What an improvement. That engine feels fucking awesome. Just so much more poke. Like, it's so much more poke and it actually feels, uh, <laughs> in a weird way, it makes the bike feel lighter as such. Like, it's just so revvy. Oh, I love this blipper. Look, it's just effortless. I do feel, though, like, I would like to... Ah, oh, I don't know. Like, would I, I'd probably get used to the blipper and just be completely in love. Well, hats off to you, Triumph. You have literally brought the speed into the 21st century. Mental. Mental bike. It leans, like it just, cornering's fantastic. I think these wheels have probably helped tenfold, so, you know, that's a massive improvement. Obviously, the I didn't think I'd care for much, like all these electronics, but it is a very nice touch and would definitely make this easier to live with. Just like the, the steering lock button and keyless man just ah oh, nice and yeah just and the engine that is the highlight feature of this bike it is literally i don't know what they did but jesus christ this thing ah oh, yeah crazy pulls harder than a fucking stag before he's getting married i tell you this Absolutely mental. Woo. Fuck it, it's better than mine. I've lost no money. Pissed. It goes well. That fucking engine, mate. It goes well. It's really responsive, isn't it? But following it is. What a what a bike! What a bike! Yeah, really well. Really does pick up. I mean, I try not to kid myself like sitting up compared to being like that. So I'm gonna do a side by side um, on the footage and actually see what's quicker. But fantastic bit of kit. Yeah, I think just I mean. I know they changed the wheels because of the inertia problems with the old ones, but it's made such a difference. Like, just goes in easy. yeah. Well, I tried to clutch up in second. Fucking thing. Like, I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> Mine's like clutch up in second. It's nice and comes up, but that it's like dunk. I was like, "Nah, don't like this. Don't like this." It's trying to clutch up in third and it was better. So <laughs> mad, but mad. Yeah, fucking not got got a bit of knee down as well on it. It's fucking all right, man. What a bike. What a bike is all I can say. You lucky bastard. <laughs> so I decided uh, I'd wait a day or two to kind of let the, the Speed RS experience sink in as such. Um, just because I didn't want to be clouded by the kind of buzz of it being a, a new bike and like jumps on it and whatnot and what you, you know what I mean but like I think there's a couple of key things that people want to know here like how much of an upgrade is it over my speed now I'm just gonna show you a, a side by side roll on throttle um, let me tuck in. There we go. I'm just going to so show you a quick side by side, roll on throttle, same speed, same point, and the bridge at the end is the reference point. Um, if anything, I actually went went in about three miles an hour lower on uh, my bike than I did the RS, and that wasn't intentional. I just, if anything, I, I probably wanted to at the time do myself a favour and match it bang on because I was worried that mine wouldn't be as quick but I'll, I'll let you show you here's the end result anyway 40. 
The thing to take away from it is that, yes, I beat it by a fucking half a bike, like, but when you actually think about it, it's not going to be, you know, that could be the millisecond I, I could have gotten the throttle earlier, who knows, but essentially what I'm, I'm showing there is there's not really any difference in terms of straight line speed between both bikes. Um, the RS feels better in corners because of the wheels and because of the whole inertia effect and overall if you've got the money to walk into a Triumph dealership and buy this Speed Triple R or an RS you'd be fucking mad mad not to go for the RS everything about it is just a complete step up and not just from a Speed Triple point of view from a um, just a, a bike refinement point of view like it's got illuminated switch gear yeah it's a bit like cruise control bikes have had for a while now um, but like the keyless fob thing I mean I, I didn't have any footage of it because I just didn't but I was at the Triumph dealership I'd done my test ride and I was just sitting around kind of got to lunchtime and I was still waiting for my bike to be done with its service and the tank being replaced and um, which is now replaced and um, basically I just wanted to go to the shop so I just said to um, John who's you know top man sales rep uh, just just said yeah like um, you know you're still insured for the speed like just take up to the shop if you want and grab a grab a sandwich and I was like oh sweet I got off the bike at the garage turned the bars pressed the lock button didn't take the key out of my pocket I just left it all alone and it was glorious like I didn't even realize that kind of convenience could exist with owning a bike <laughs> and then I just cut I got what I wanted put it in my bag jumped back on the bike press the on switch I just rode it off again and it was like ah oh, so much easier than fiddling around with keys like just ah oh, so much easier so much easier and yeah like just things like that that's it's such a step up in in terms of like bike ownership and i you know i wish i knew the speed rs was coming when i i kind of had a hunch they were going to put the tft screen on it and whatnot um because at the end of the day the speed came out with this sort of style um like that this headlight style first and then the 765 got it and they introduced the screen i was like well it's only natural the speed's going to come out with a screen and a bit of an upgrade but i didn't expect the engine to be as much of an upgrade as it actually was but jesus christ the engine is absolutely pucker they've just it feels like a lighter bike and I probably, I think I even said that when I was riding it, just because the engine is so quicker to, like so much quicker to spin up, like it lifts in second and third, like it's, it's got a mental side to it now, it's got that kind of hooligan side that I probably feel like this bike lost a little bit um, in its reputation, like riding a new speed was very similar to riding the MT-10, which I've had a go on one and it's just crazy like it just lifts everywhere it's bonkers like and the speed is like that now it's bonkers it's crazy but in the corners she is still a beautiful beautiful like ship that just that would just sit on a corner look at this old yeah it's just it's just perfect like it will just it feels so good in the corners everything so that that's my overall verdict you know if you're wondering what's better the speed rs is better yes i'm happy i beat it by half a bike length in a straight line but essentially you gotta remember my bike's modified and the speed rs is out of the box and if uh, if you've done what i've done to mine you know put it on a bit of a diet every peg that doesn't need to be on or like 
just you know all that kind of shit if you'd done that to the speed rs imagine how much faster that would be so um yep yeah, it's a fantastic bike gutted i can't really have one uh, just from a financial point of view and being strapped up with this thing but you know like for all you people out there that are looking at it i think you'd you'd be mental not to consider it if you're looking for a litre naked bike because I don't just think it punches with the big boys now, I think it fucking schools them on it. I really do. So that's my uh, that's my 10 pence worth on it. I have to do a couple of thank yous. Um, firstly to Triumph, Ashford, Jack Lilies um, for letting me go out on it and ripping it a new one. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, they're, they're really helpful. They've really sorted Susie out as well with servicing and everything. Uh, getting the new tank on and yeah, they're just generally a, a nice bunch of guys. Like if you do need anything, in there, talk to any one of the sales guys. Uh, John's John's the man with speeds. He seems to know his shit. So yeah, um, and secondly, Will Collins for the. Um, the thumbnail because as much as I'd love to claim that I took that picture I just didn't <laughs> but yeah go check him out on Instagram it's will underscore Collins um, yeah he's got a wicked gallery and other than that thank you very much catch you in the next one I guess time to join this motorway as you always should